Okay, so in this video, we are going to construct a perpendicular bisector to a line. So we have our line here that's not labeled. So let's go ahead and label some endpoints on it so we can uh, construct this. And I will just call this point A, and we'll call this one over here point B. And we want the perpendicular bisector of AB. So we're slicing it in half with a perpendicular line. So here's what's happening. We want to take our compass. You want to put it first at point A. Now, you want the radius. You can use any radius you want, but the key to this is to go larger than halfway. If you think halfway is right around here, go larger than halfway. It's okay if you go even bigger. That's fine. And now, just pivot around and make a tick mark somewhere up here. And using that, take it all the way down and make a tick mark here. You can go ahead and make it nice and big. Okay, now that you've done that, just make sure on the top here that you've made it large enough as well. So now take your compass, move it to the other side at point B. And again, you want to make sure you're larger than halfway. In fact, you don't even have to change the size because you already knew you were larger than halfway. Come up here, make the tick mark, then go back down to here and make that tick mark as well. Now you can move the compass out of the way and you're going to connect these two points. We can call this point X up here and then we can call this one point Y down here, and we can connect point X and point Y with our straight edge. So from point X to point Y, and you will have created a perpendicular bisector. So this piece from A, and I can call this C, will be congruent B to C, and you have a right angle there as well. And that's the construction of a perpendicular bisector. So happy constructing.